Hey everybody, Buffer Stars Gaming here with a first look at Punch Club. So Punch Club is a I don't want to call it a boxing sim because it's not a like a fight night or anything like that. But it's kind of a fun little um, fighter management sim. Um, it was supposed to release on the 25th of this month, but the developer decided that uh, they would release it whenever Twitch um, collectively beat it. And they, uh, I think, beat it last night because it was still uh, pre-ordered, pre-orderable last night and this morning it was out. So um, you can pick it up on Steam for I think like 10 bucks. If you pre-ordered it, I think it was about 7 or 8. Um, anywho, let's go ahead and jump in here. I have already played about two hours on my own personal character here. You can see he's fairly well balanced out, but we'll get more into what the stats mean in a second. Um, let's go ahead and start a new one. You can't change the way he looks, unfortunately, but there is a story to this. Um, so the character looks a certain way because of the story. You're, you know, playing as a character, not as yourself. Okay, so that was the little intro, intro there. As you can see, the game is very well uh, um, animated. Let's go ahead and answer the phone here. Hello? Still sleeping? Take your lazy ass off the couch and go to work. How's that for a plan? Uh, okay, Frank, I'll do it. Great, I've left a newspaper on the table. There should be some job offers. See ya. No thing about jobs. I need to work out and have breakfast. So let's go into the garage here. Um, working out boosts these stats just as you would uh, assume. Each particular workout you do is going to boost some stats more than others, or uh, some not at all. So let's go ahead and do some push-ups here. This is going to boost um, all of them for the most part. We'll get a little bit of strength in there, a little bit of agility. Um, looks like we're pretty hungry, so let's go to the kitchen. Should be some food in the fridge. Okay, there we go. Um, let's have some frozen pizza. Okay, let's go look at the newspaper and find ourselves a job. Not the best job, but let's do it. So this opens up the uh, sidebar here. This one will show you your uh, statistics, your win-losses, your combat stats, and the perks and traits you've unlocked. This one here is going to show you the different leagues you have available, and this is where you're going to manage your fights and schedule new ones. This right here is the city map. This will let you travel all over the place. The grocery store is where you're gonna buy more food. The sporting goods store will let you buy equipment to put in your garage. Um, there's also a gym you can work out in if you uh, don't want to buy you know, new equipment or you can't afford it yet, which uh, it'll take you quite a while to save up for it. And then here's where you'll work. There's different jobs available. This is the first one you get. This is your skill tree, so um, there are three types of fighters, basically. Well, I mean, four if you want to balance yourself out, but there's strength, agility, and stamina. And the game kind of persuades you to specialize in one of them, although obviously you're going to want all of them to some degree. Strength is going to increase the damage of all your hits and increases um, energy consumption during a fight. Agility increases your accuracy and chance to avoid enemy attacks and stamina increases energy regeneration during the fight also increases your damage absorption. So if you want to be a very defensive fighter, uh, 
agility and stamina are probably the way to go. If you want to be offensive, you're going to want to be strength and stamina. But obviously you can't neglect any of these because if you're really strong but you're not very agile, you are going to miss a lot of your hits. Um, but as you can see, there are different martial arts styles here. And the way of the bear is going to favor strength, the way of the tiger is going to favor agility, and the way of the turtle is going to favor stamina. So the game does kind of persuade you to uh, choose one, although you can take abilities from any of these. You don't need to choose from one and only one. Um, you can unlock all three down here. You just need to meet the minimum requirements, which uh, it's not going to show, but you probably need about 10, like 10 agility here, 10 stamina here, and 10 uh, strength there or something to that effect. Um, and so the game works stat-wise very similar to um, the escapist where you need to basically work out every day or your abilities are going to diminish. There are some abilities, for example these ones right here, that will sort of put a like a floor on your abilities so that um, for example if you take this one your agility will never drop below four. So it just sort of raises the bar so you don't need to constantly worry about training something if you want to leave it there or uh, if you take a day off you don't need to worry about dropping all the way back to one. Um, but those are the only ones I've seen. I don't know that there are... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any higher caps than that. So four is pretty much what your minimums are going to be at for these once you've leveled up high enough. And obviously there is a day cycle here. Um, every, at the end of every day and the start of every new day, these will um, increase or decrease based on what you've done. Well, that's that's not entirely true. Basically, they will increase as you work out. At the end of every day, you will lose some, and so you need to keep uh, working out in order to balance these. Um, it wanted me to go to work, so let's go ahead and do that. When you click on a location, it gives you two options. You can travel by foot, which is going to take some time from the day, or you can pay to quick travel there. It won't take you any time, but it will cost you money, which is a little bit scarce in this game. So um, let's go by foot. We'll save our money. Oh, it looks like we got jumped on the way there. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. I don't have a motorcycle. Um... Let's start a fight so I can show you the fight mechanics. I don't think you can win this one, but we'll do it anyways. Don't really care about that. So we only have two available skill slots and then a tactic slot. We've only got two available skills, so that's fine. We'll, we're going to use the simple punch and the basic block. Now there are several other abilities, as you can see here, here that you can unlock, as well as uh, perks and things like that. Um, and we are going to get completely wrecked here, but we're going to do this anyways, just so you guys can see what happens. Now, you basically just watch the fights play out, but they play out in rounds, and so at the end of every round, you can adjust your skills uh, accordingly if you're not doing things the way you would like. Uh, obviously, right now, we only have the two, so that's not going to do us a whole lot of good, but... Um, Further on down the line, you can fight much more tactically using certain skills at the beginning of fights to wear your opponent down and then other skills at the end of fights to finish him quickly. But uh, yeah, you don't actually control the fight, you just kind of watch them take turns, which is probably the only complaint I'd have about the game so far. Uh, the fighting is a little bit um, passive, I guess. Okay, so I saw you fight. That was pretty impressive. Hey, you have really strong legs. Uh, this seems to be fairly random. Because last time I got it, or in my personal playthrough, I got something completely different. And I don't know that I did any better or worse. Um, you've never used an elevator, so your legs are really strong. Okay. So we should probably favor kicking with this guy. Freshen yourself up and come to my office, then we'll have a talk. So this is Mick. There's a lot of... Um, let me finish reading this. And it would be great if you could visit Apu at his store, tell him that I still haven't gotten my meat delivery. Okay, so we got another quest there. Apu is here at the grocery store. There's a lot of uh, pop culture references in this. Mick is a reference to Rocky. 
Apu is a reference to The Simpsons. Um, there's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles references in here. Um, I think there's a Bruce Lee look-alike. I think there's some Street Fighter characters, actually like several Street Fighter characters in here. So yeah, tons of references, a lot of great uh, jokes and stuff. Let's head to the grocery store because it's on our way to Mix. And now that we've met him, let's see. Um, let's talk about the delivery. Hi there, Mick asked me to tell you that he's still waiting for his meat delivery. Oh, okay, I'll take care of it. Alright, so we've got different food options here. The meat is going to increase your health by 10, your happiness by 1, and your hunger by 40. Soda is going to increase your happiness by 1 and your um, food or your hunger by 9. Pizza is going to do 10 health, 1 happiness, 17 hunger. And energy drinks will do 10 energy, 2 happiness, and 2 hunger. So obviously as far as um, hunger goes, the meat is the most efficient. You're paying $20 for 40 food where frozen pizza you're paying 9 for 17 food. So you're getting a little bit more mileage out of it here. Um, energy drinks are supplements for your energy bar obviously which you can only refill through energy drinks or sleeping so if you don't have time to sleep popping one of these is a nice alternative but they are expensive and um, happiness just kind of depletes if you work too hard health depletes from fighting and hunger depletes from working so let's buy a steak and then I think we'll be on our way We'll head back to the map here and let's head to mix office okay let's go talk to him I told you before that you have potential I can make you a champion it's a long road and you have to take the first step yourself there's an amateur fight league in my friend's gym if you can prove your worth I will train you go to silver's gym you can work out there if you're tired of doing it at home so we have to go to silver's gym now you oh excuse me uh, <laughs> If you'll be short on money, come to me and I'll feed you. So you can come and get free meals from him, but he won't feed you unless your hunger bar is depleted and you're out of money. So, for example, uh, yeah, I, I don't think you're hungry. He, he'll only do it if you're, like, starving. Um, so let's see, what do we got here? Um, got Raiden, looks like Sub-Zero. Indiana Jones. Um, I forget which Teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is the purple one. Uh, I want to say Leonardo, but I don't think that's right. And then, I don't know who that's supposed to be. I should probably know that reference, but I don't. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get back to the map here. Oh, is, wait, was that a... Hang on, I missed one. Yeah, there's a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff in here. So back to the map. Um, we've got some time left. Let's go to work. We could use the money. So I like doing this job because it pays 50. The next job you get is only going to pay 30 and they take the same amount of time. And this one will actually boost your stats slightly. So as we do it, as we operate the jackhammer, we'll actually gain some strength and endurance, which is cool. And I like to time it so that as soon as I finish, I stop because it'll just keep going until you tell it to stop. So I like to save as much time as I can. So we've got some money there. Let's head to... Uh, it's getting a little bit late. Let's head to the grocery store by foot. We'll buy some food, hit the sack, and then go to work the next day and maybe hit the gym on the way home. So we'll buy two more steaks. And I think that'll be fine. We'll save the rest of our money for the gym. And let's get some sleep. Actually, you know what? He could probably use some food. We'll eat that other frozen pizza. And we'll drink that soda too. So you can be lazy, play with the cat. There's other stuff that you can do in here. So this is how the end of day allocates. We lost nine in everything. We gained seven strength, 10 uh, agility, and 14 endurance. So we had a net loss in our strength. So we need to kind of work on that. All right, so we'll get back to the city map here. Let's head to work. I'm gonna take the bus just because three 
hours or whatever they're using to allocate that is kind of a lot to waste. So we'll work again. And as soon as we finish up here, we're going to hit the gym for a little bit and you guys can see some of the different workouts available. Okay, I stopped that right on time. Um, I'm going to take the bus again. And let's talk to Mick. Or sorry, to Silver. Hmm, Big Mick. I thought he didn't care about boxing anymore. I'm Silver. I guess you can try here, for now, at least. I think Mick told you about our rookie league. You're welcome to partic participate. It looks like you know how to fight. Do you want to spar with me? Uh, no thanks. I'm not in the mood right now. Okay, you can train in my gym, but not for free, of course. But since you know Mick, I'll give you a discount. Okay. Right, so we now have the ability to sign up for the Rookie League. We'll do that. And then we'll go into the gym. It's going to cost us 10 bucks every time we want to use the gym. So if you can get your own equipment in your garage sooner rather than later, that would be ideal. I think we're going to focus on agility and stamina for now. So I like doing the tire here because it's going to do a little bit of each but mostly focusing on these two. You will get some strength out of this but I think you get a little bit more blue and green than red. And eventually the returns from this will start to diminish as you saw right there. Those weren't full circles. So as soon as you get those I like to bail and move to a different uh, workout. So let's hit the heavy bag. Oh, we're hungry. So we gotta go eat. Let's go ahead and we'll hit the grocery store and buy some more steak. Um, we'll get one more. like to load up on food. And then we'll head home, get some sleep, some food, and get back to work. We'll eat two of those. And let's hit the sack. Okay, so the date should end any minute now, so we lost 9 again, but we gained more than enough to uh, compensate, and we've got our first Rookie League fight tomorrow. So let's go ahead and we're going to head back to work, I'm going to take the bus, going to do our thing here. And so basically this is the game, obviously you're going to unlock a lot more places to uh, do things but you're basically working to make money you're uh, buying food so that you can eat you're sleeping and you're working out let's hit the gym I'm gonna pay that four bucks head back in here drop another ten and let's do a little bit of jumping rope this is gonna focus on okay yeah so keeping your mood up will make your training more efficient but yeah we're gonna focus on agility and stamina for a little bit. We're not getting full effect from this because he's not happy, but there's not a lot we can do about that. At least not right this second. Okay, so now we're not getting full efficiency. Let's go hit the heavy bag some more. And just to you know, give you an idea of what the rest of these do, this, this speed bag here is going to be mostly agility. Uh, the weights here are all strength. I believe this thing is mostly strength. I think you get, I forget what else you get from that. I think you get a little bit of agility from that. The treadmill is all agility and the uh, squat rack here is strength and endurance or stamina. So we're all done working out. Let's hit the uh, grocery store here. We'll buy another steak just because it's on the way home save some of our money for uh, tomorrow head home and get some sleep and we'll have our first fight probably gonna hit the gym a little bit before our fight just because I'd like to get some of these up to two before we have to uh, take anybody on I'm gonna sleep for a little bit longer I'd like to get these up as much as I can okay he needs to eat so let's eat some of these steaks we'll put two Put two down. 
Um, you can fight right up until the end of the day, so I like to train a little bit first. Let's go ahead and kind of sucks having to pay ten dollars every single time, but you know what can you do? I'm gonna jump some rope. Hopefully we can get these up to two before our fight. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Still getting full efficiency from this, so okay, there it is. Let's do a little bit of the squat rack here. We'll get some strength and some stamina. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Let's go ahead and fight. So this is our first real fight. Um, the fighters are, I think, more or less. Uh, actually, no, they're not randomized because uh, this is the same guy I fought before. It will show you their active skills and their active perks. Uh, so he's got the same two moves we have. He's one in every skill, no perks. So this should be a fairly easy fight for us. Let's go ahead and duke it out. And so there's obviously a lot of different strategies that you can use with this. Um, in my personal playthrough, I tried to focus on um, depleting their energy as fast as I can. So I use a lot of... Um, abilities that hurt their energy more than their health because when you deplete this bar you can actually knock them down and uh, get critical hits and stuff so that's one strategy you can also um, focus on just depleting their health bar as quickly as possible um, but yeah there's different strategies that you can take different approaches um, and it's I found it pretty interesting to kind of play with it and see how you can maximize it because I've had I had a fight where I was losing pretty badly through the first round, switched my abilities, and ended up winning, just because the enemy had a certain approach and I changed my approach to counter it. And uh, had I kept doing what I was doing, I would have lost pretty easily. Don't need to change anything. We can't really change anything right now. But yeah, so. The, the first couple fights are just sort of a slugfest because you can't you can't change any of your abilities you have what you have once you start to unlock more you uh, obviously can specialize a little bit better um, this might take a while just because we're not doing a ton of damage but we are looking like we're gonna win here hopefully uh, We'll have time to at least look at some of the different abilities before we end this uh, video. But yeah, as always, if you guys are interested in this game and want to see a full playthrough on it, let me know in the comments because I would be happy to do one. Like I've said and like you guys saw, I am doing my own playthrough of this. Um, and I've enjoyed it so far. I put in about 2-3 hours straight. So it's definitely a fun little game. I just wish that the fights were a little bit more involved. It'd be nice to... Uh, press buttons and try to time your combos or something but you just kind of sit here and watch which I mean it's fine it's a it's a strategy game so it is what it is but yeah his energy is really starting to deplete but I think we're going to deplete his health first but yeah going for uh, their energy is a very very valid tactic it's worked pretty well for me so far um, energy is very important because the harder you hit the more energy you use in doing so and so if you can't match a guy punch for punch it might be better for you to just try to wear him out you know let him hit you but use all his energy in the process and uh, he won't be able to fight back if he's got no gas left okay we should be able to finish him this round and there are, um, there are several leagues that you can fight in there's a couple like underground leagues where you earn prize money and this one you just sort of move up the ranks you don't get anything until you become champion um, which is pretty difficult the uh, little fighters that you go up against range pretty pretty vastly in uh, skill so this is our first uh, upgrade that we can take so let's go ahead and look at this um, we'll schedule another fight not that it matters because this is kind of a one-off video but yeah, so you got your punch, your block, you've got the option to kick. Kicks are nice, they focus a little bit more on agility than strength. Punching is more of a strength thing. 
Um, you can learn new tactics. Dodging uh, is different than blocking in that blocking reduces the amount of energy, or sorry, of damage you take, but it takes less energy to do. Dodging takes more energy to do, but if you're successful, you don't take any damage. Um, then you have more powerful abilities here. Low kicks deplete stamina. So, uh, let's see, a debilitating strike dealing reasonable damage and hurting your opponent's stamina. Yeah, and agility. So, if you've got somebody who hits really hard but doesn't have a ton of stamina, you can sit there and low kick them until they've got no stamina left and they won't be able to fight back. You can unlock new skill slots, uh, better abilities, um, ability caps. Uh, these boost your training efficiency. These unlock new uh, skill paths. And what do we got at the end? Uh, increases the successful block. Okay, so these are just um, ability boosts. So we'll just take, it really doesn't matter what we take, because again, this is sort of a one-off episode. We'll take dodge, and for each successive ability you take, they cost an extra skill point. So, we will take kick for now. And I think that's going to do it. So, you guys got to see some fights, you got to see some leveling up, you got to see some of the daily grind. I think that's really all there is to the game. There is a story that you're playing through, trying to figure out who your father's murderer was and why he killed him. So there is some intrigue there. There are several different fight leagues that you can participate in. Um, at least three that I know of. There might be more. But you've got your rookie league. There's an underground league. There's like a bar league. And then obviously you can join like professional leagues and stuff down the road. And uh, let's go look at the sporting goods store real quick. Just so you guys can see what's available. So uh, you can buy treadmills. You can buy heavy bags, speed bags, weight benches. Uh, pretty much everything you saw in the gym you can buy for your um, garage, but obviously they are going to take some time to save up for. I don't know if there are any higher paying jobs than the one you've seen. The second one you unlock pays about $30 for, I think it's either the same or slightly less amount of time to do the job. It's like right here somewhere, it's a like pizza place. But yeah. Um, I think that's everything so again if you guys are interested in this game let me know and I'll try to fit a series on this in somewhere um, again I'm happy to play it I'm enjoying it so far hopefully you guys are too it's a little bit grindy but games like this tend to be I'm curious to see where the story goes because there's already something interesting as you guys saw in the little uh, opening with the medallions that can unlock your potential or whatever and uh, it's just a fun little, you know, fighter management sim. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for the next first look video.